Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is the Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic for our last faction uh, video talking about the Eldar cruiser tier. So they've only got one cruiser and boy is it ever poor. Now if it weren't for the fact that they've patched the Eldar, I would actually recommend not using your cruiser slot at all, saving that 200 run out and using it for something useful. But they did patch uh, Eldar a little bit, so there is a uh, use for the uh, cruiser slot in the Eldar list here. Let's go ahead and add it. So the only type of cruiser that they have is the Shadow. It has 600 hull integrity, uh, 262 speed. So as you can tell, it's got a big drop off in speed compared to the light cruisers that the Eldar have. It's got the detection range of 5,000. It's got a troop value of 50, which is really terrible. It's got 12 turrets and it's got armor of 25 all around. The reason that this ship is so bad is that it has its weapon is eight prow star cannons, and these weapons are pretty normal. They're like just a regular, um, any sort of macro battery type weapon. Uh, they've got a decent range of 6,000. They've got decent damage of three with a rate of fire that's pretty high, but th this isn't actually that good. Um, a lot of other things with the proper broadsides have bigger broadside damage. Um, and they've got the Prow Torpedo Launcher, which uh, is exactly the same. It's got four torpedoes, just the exact same as the Auroras. But the reason that this is sometimes useful is that if you're up against other Eldar, uh, then those star, those star Cannons are what you would use to counter them. Uh, so we're going to pick that up, and I'm not going to bother getting anything upgraded on it just yet. But we'll actually, yeah, we'll, we'll take some upgrades on this guy just uh, for the hell of it. We'll get a Dark Star Squadron. Um, those are always a good thing to pick up on any ship, basically. And we'll pick up... Here's the thing, you use this for fighting Eldar. Uh, we'll go ahead and get Taunt, I think. Even though normally you wouldn't want that on an Eldar ship. Now, Taunt is less of a, a counter against Eldar now that they've patched the game. Um, ever since release, Taunt has a half duration against Eldar and full duration against everyone else. So it's not ideal or anything, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, what are we up against here? We're up against orcs. This is an absolutely terrible time to be using something like a uh, shadow, but we're going to use it anyway just for the sake of illustration here. Um, do I need a recon beacon against the orcs? Or do I need a dark star squad? And we'll take the recon beacon. I don't think that he'll have gone super carrier heavy. And if he did, then uh, he'll probably not be the best at it, uh, dealing damage to me there. So I, I chose the uh, upgraded range on my Auroras. That uh, is just for incredibly micro-intensive moments because currently it's a bit glitched. You don't aim at the uh, 9000 range with the auto fire, so you have to actually set it to uh, fire its cannons uh, at 6000, unless you're microing and manually firing it, which is tricky, so I don't really do it. All right. Unless, like, your opponent is, if your opponent's in a gas cloud or something, then it's really useful for that. But uh, as you can see, it says 6,000 range, but it'll actually fire out to 9,000. Anyway, um, looks like our opponent has uh, two ships of their own. Let's go ahead and set our torpedoes to automatically launch so I don't have. Eh, let's not, actually. Let's go ahead and take that off that. Alright, so. Let's go see what we're dealing with here. It's two orky ships somewhere. Three orky ships. So they'll have an escort along with uh, their cluster there. So, the yeah, the Shadow, own. it's just not a particularly good ship. It would be nice if they would uh, buff it somehow. Maybe give it unique star That's cannons uh, that are superior in some way to the Aurora's, uh, or sorry, the Solaris's star cannons or the Econonites. Oh, actually, they are superior to the Econonites. Um, so don't think that the uh, light escort has better. Uh, Star Cannons, because it has 15 if I recall correctly. Yes, Oops, that uh, wasn't quite back. the right direction to avoid those torpedoes. I really wish they would add back in the feature where you saw the red blips on the maps, because this is kind of Swift obnoxious me. where you can't tell where your opponent is. And you can just see how easily like the Eldar, even their heavier cruiser, gracefully just dances around these uh, torpedoes here. That Dark Star Squadron is going to be able to uh, get around Commander, and also... do a little bit, so they not leading these torpedo shots very well, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and get into our uh, AI behavior for this uh, ship here. It is front firing. We're going to disable this, though. Alright, and uh, they're launching all those torpedoes this away. Move at full speed. 
gonna move over this way. The void is our home now. All right, looks like we scored some hits. Setting sail. All right, so. We ride the solar winds. Uh oh. Yes, commander. I'm gonna have to just get out of there like this. I'm going to bump into an escort, but it's just an escort. And uh, keep moving, keep moving as best as we can. We did get a boarding there. <laughs> did blow up his uh, escort, which is good. We're getting boarded in return, but that's fine. All right, so we lost a weapon, that's fine. That's our torpedoes, that's our only good weapon on this stupid thing. All right. All right, let's uh, use this there. Yeah, this guy's got bombs. So, the problem with this is that the Shadow now has no teeth, basically, at all. Um, which is really bad. It means that I will not be able to deal enough damage to these things without... Uh... And you can see that currently, um, I'm taking damage from them as well. They've changed the dynamic on that. Uh, let's turn this stupid thing off. I don't particularly like it. Right, let's get our more important Aurora back over here. From this range, they don't have much chance of uh, dealing damage to me, so it's okay to sort of pick at them from this range. As you, wish. you sort of just want to keep at this distance here. Alright, so we're going to try and uh, just get around for another pass here. Oh. Let's actually go this way. So we're dealing some damage to that lead ship there with our uh, star cannons there. I mean, the damage per second for them isn't actually that bad. It's just that uh, it's not great either. Yeah, we're getting bracketed pretty badly there. Let's come back around and deal with this guy. Looks like they've launched some ordnance at me. Not that that really matters anymore. Let's just taunt this guy for the hell of it. Matters not. I could actually turn the face just a little bit. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and fire this off. Get away. If we can get those uh, torpedoes to hit, that would be actually pretty good. No, they... Well, yeah, we got one of them and it got a crit. Not bad. So, yeah, the star cannons on this thing, like, at least on the plus side, it's a little bit more durable than my Aurora. But that's about all that uh, you can really say about it that's any good. Okay. We're just going to chip away at it with those star cannons It'll last a little bit for health. If I keep moving, I should be able to survive uh, going broadside to broadside like this. Even though I don't technically have a broadside, but... Alright, let's uh, line up a torpedo shot from this guy. Use another heal. And brace for impact so that I'm taking uh, less damage as I approach. Alright, so that's the Shadow. It does decent chip damage constantly, but when you've got something like the Aurora, which does that huge burst damage, it's just so much more effective against so many more people. But there's definitely uses for the Shadow, and I think that those uh, batteries that it does have are, you know, a good answer to Eldar if you're up against them. I would never normally take them against Orcs, although, you know, maybe do take them against Orcs, because early on, Orcs are ridiculously outmatched by Eldar. Like, this is the least fair matchup in the game, essentially. 
Yeah, that's the Shadow Cruiser. It's the only one the Elder have got. It's really bad. Um, honestly, I don't know what they could do to make it better, but realistically, all they could do is either give it a six torpedo uh, launch, or they could give it. Uh, I don't. I don't know what they could do with the damn thing. It's just so bad. Um, all right, so let's go look at upgrades and stuff like that. The other thing that it's useful for is actually ramming uh, Eldar escorts. And it doesn't do a great job of that anymore since they nerfed the Eldar ramming damage, but it's still better than nothing. Um, Alright, so how do we upgrade this thing? Well, basically it's all about the macro batteries, the the uh, star cannons there. So um, you don't want Blessing of Vault because you don't want to be in that close for that long, so you're not going to be getting consistent damage boosts out of that. Um, the range from accelerated batteries is pretty much what you would probably want to take on something like this if you want to go offense-minded. And, like, you could also probably just make an argument for not getting any upgrades to this ship, because, realistically, you're not going to get much benefit out of upgrading this particular ship. Um, for crew, I mean Master Gunner, uh, but, yeah, this, this just isn't a very strong ship, uh, in general. We're gonna go ahead and go with the crew, Master Gunner. Um, this is one of those ships that just doesn't have great uh, synergy with the style of fleet that the Elder have. And you can't mass up on Shadows and just uh, become a macro battery sort of uh, user. Um, so it, it does have its sort of issues there. Uh, do I want to just pick this up here? Like, picking this up is useful if you end up against Eldar that are trying to sort of stay away from you, uh, especially if they're Solaris heavy. Um, but it's just such a meh ability. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save my uh, renown for this particular one, but I hope you found this video enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time.